Oh my god. As someone who's tested thousands of lenses and an owner of over 500 lenses, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> it really actually takes a lot to impress me on a lens. Everybody else gets like a lens. Ah, this lens is great. I love it. It's like, how many lenses have you tested in your life? Ah, maybe 20. <laughs> it takes a lot to impress me on a lens now. It's actually been quite a long time since I've been... I've been impressed. Like the Fujifilm 80mm macro, that was really beyond impressive. Uh, and I'm a guy that's got more macro lenses than you can shake a stick at, including the really expensive macro lenses. The really expensive, the most expensive from Nikon, the most expensive from Zeiss. That lens was, it is the 80mm Fujifilm, incredibly impressive. Let me point out something to you. The lens just came out a few months ago, but it's only been available for a very brief period of time. And this lens scores so high on the chart, I've done a lot of testing with it. By the way, it's also the world's fastest 40 millimeter lens. This is a Voigtlander lens. So for those of you who don't know Voigtlander, um, um, actually if you took a blind person and had them do like a field test on how smooth the manual focus is and the fit and finish and the fact that it's just... In many cases, Voigtlander lenses are better than super, super expensive uh, Leica lenses. And uh, they are slightly better made than Zeiss lenses. However, the Casino Voigtlander is also the same place where many of the Zeiss lenses are made. And uh, most of the Zeiss lenses are not made in Germany. They're made in the same place uh, where these uh, Leica, excuse me, these uh, Voigtlander lenses are made at. All made in Japan. This lens, oh, I've done a few days of testing with it. And when I first started testing, I, I thought, this is unbelievable. I've, I'm really a big fan of Voigtlander lenses, but, you know, there's a lot of uh, lenses that just don't translate well adapted to Fujifilm or to Nikon. It's like, eh, you know, eh, eh, eh. Some of them are incredible, like the 58mm F1.4 Noctuine lens that I've had like a bazillion people purchase off my recommendation. Everybody's in love with that lens. That lens is just off the hook incredible and it is just so damn cheap compared to how it is made. I mean it's just a lens that will last many lifetimes. Long after you're dead you're gonna will it to somebody, they're gonna use it, then that person's gonna will it to somebody else. Made that good. This lens is right on par with the 58mm uh, F14 Noctuine. This is the Voigtlander 40mm F12 Noctuine. The world's fastest 40mm lens. Got a little bit of dust on the lens. <laughs> been actually using it a lot today and yesterday. My god, this lens is incredible. This lens is incredible. Now this is a Leica M mount, so you would have to use, and they make um, um, K and F adapters. I think they're, yeah, they're $22. It's a tiny little adapter. This is a really compact lens. I mean, for an F12 lens, it's an 8 element lens. Focus is just smooth as silk. Construction is 10 out of 10. You could spend Fifteen thousand dollars on the most expensive. Well, your Leica lens costs more than that, but really expensive Leica lenses are up in the fifteen, twenty thousand dollar range. You could spend that much on a Leica lens, and you still not get any, not even one half of a percent better quality than you wouldn't get anything better quality. This is premium quality. This is literally eleven out of ten on a scale of one to ten. The quality build construction on this lens is unmatched. It's par excellence. It's it's pinnacle. The output on this lens is incredible. Color saturation, rendition, bokeh, rendering, uh, unbelievable. Um, I score this lens right alongside the Voigtlander 58mm 1.4 Noctuine. Now the only thing that's going to be an issue on this, a lot of people are going to go, well, this is a Leica M mount. They do have it in the Sony, uh, I think it was a Sony E mount, they have this lens available. And it costs like $200 more. I mean, the only thing you're talking about it is an adapter. Like, this is a Rayquil adapter. They got uh, a K and F adapter. By the way, the cheapest place to get this lens, really the only place, and they're the United States distributor for it, is uh, from a camera quest. I'll put the link below to this lens. By the way, I get no kickbacks at all. doesn't matter what the hell you buy. I don't make a dime. It's always been the case. It always is the case. This lens has actually knocked me off my socks. It's so incredible. Sorry, I'm rubbing my face because I'm just so tired. Since I've come home, there's just been so much to do. My God, this lens is incredible. I really wasn't expecting this lens. You know, it just came out. There's really no reviews on it at all. I think there might be a couple, but none that I trust anyway. I mean, 
a new Voigtlander lens comes out, some sort of a like a fanboy. Ah, it's wonderful. I love it. It's like, yeah, shut the hell up. You know, I don't, I don't trust reviews like that. My God, this lens is incredible. This, this lens is, this lens is mine. I'm keeping this lens. I got this lens for testing. This lens is not going back. I was like, oh, you know, I like for this lens for testing. I mean, I, I love to test lenses. But, I mean, there's no call to fear this lens because it's a Leica M mount. I mean, I said, look how small the adapter is. You take the rear cap off and you could actually have, see, see how small a uh, Leica M mount to a uh, Fuji uh, X mount adapter is. Really tiny. This is an F1.2 lens. This lens is sharp as piss, including all the way open. The rendi rendition is incredible. The bokeh is incredible. The saturation is incredible. Micro contrast is incredible. The out of focus uh, rendering on this, not only from F1.2, is surprisingly how sharp this lens is at F1.2. Completely atypical of, Vo of uh, Voigtlander lenses. This lens is absolutely incredible. Um, it scores in the top one half of one percentile of all the lenses I've ever tested. This lens is not going back. This lens is staying with me. Coming across a lens this nice, this fast, this compact, this sharp, completely wide open, epic tits, tougher than woodpecker lips, finer than the wax crotch of a supermodel. Uh, I know those are kind of humor, but I, I'm serious. I don't, uh, even though I use some uh, humorous uh, uh, analogies and talking about some camera, I, I take uh, lens and camera re reviews very seriously. This lens is mine. It's not going back. You're like, how's a guy with 500 plus lenses need another lens? Because I have nothing that comes in anything close to this. And this focal, th this lens is just incredible. There are lenses out there. And you can talk to any of the best photographers on earth. I don't care what the hell you think about me. It's like, they'll all say the same thing, which is, you know, some of them will have 20 lenses plus. Average, most of the, uh, you know, the big shooters will have sometimes as few as 10 lenses, upwards 20, 30 lenses, and it will tell you that there are those lenses, meaning those with a capital T, that no matter where the hell they go, they're taking it with them because that lens is the bread and butter that just churns out the honey. You know, it's the little honey pot lens that's, you know, I can always count on it. It's kind of like your identical twin, if you had one. It's like, you know, you can count on that person. Except for that one case or that one female twin drove the other twin off the cliff remember that one there's two uh, hot blonde chicks and they're identical twins and they're fighting in the car and one of them they both went off the cliff and only one of them <laughs> maybe that's an exception this lens is incredible i knew after just a few minutes of testing it doesn't take me long but i've been testing it for quite some i got a link to the uh, flicker in uh, flicker page for this lens below but also give you the link to uh, St uh stephen gandy who uh, runs Camera Quest is the most reliable person, and he's the actual uh, importer for uh, Voigtlander lenses. Uh, there's only one issue, and it's not an issue. The only way you get the perfectly uh, circular bouquet on uh, this lens is to shoot wide open at f1.2. You will get some octagonal uh, bokeh at f1.4. So that's the only thing that keeps this lens from being a 10 out of 10. But I give this lens like a 9, 5, 9, 7 out of 10. This lens is just incredible. Absolutely unbelievable. And look how small it is. An F1.2. So damn sharp all the way open. Micro contrast bokeh set. Ah, oh my god. This, this is one of those lenses where the stars aligned. And a blue moon happened. And unicorns appeared when this lens was designed and first created. Voigtlander knocked it out of the park and then some with this lens. This lens is not going back. I got this lens for testing, but this lens is not going back. This lens is mine. M-I-N-E, mine. I wanted to tell you about this lens because it is that damn good. I know this is not the 58mm 1.4 Nocturne, but this is the 40mm 1.2 Nocturne. This lens is the Tatas. I was never that big of a fan of the Pancake Voigtlander. It's plenty good enough. I've got two of them. The Pancake 40mm, which has been redesigned, which is a lot bigger now. And it was same optically. So someone's going to say, well, how does it compare to the Voigtlander 
40 millimeter f uh, two. Isn't it f two point eight? I got two of them. I'm trying to think. Is it f two point eight? Right? Yeah, it's f two point eight. How does it compare to that Voigtlander? Not even close, because that's also a 40 millimeter. This lens is a whole world apart. I'm not even going to compare it to that lens, even though I have two of them. I'm not, because there's no way to compare them. Oh, kudos to you, Voigtlander, for this lens. This is absolutely unbelievable. And I mean that. I don't, I don't joke about that. Wow. Holy crap, wow. I've tested so many Voigtlander lenses. There's only like three that are like whew, right up there. But definitely the top two is a 58mm 1.4 that a bazillion of you have bought off my recommendation and you're all happy with. And right underneath it or really right beside it is this lens. Oh god, this lens is amazing. I just want to have sex with it right now. <laughs> Seriously. Voigtlander. Hey. Um... It is uh, eight ninety nine. Yeah, the cost on it eight ninety nine. So it is an expensive lens, but this lens is not even a tenth of a percent worse than a fifteen thousand dollar Leica lens, and I guarantee you it's better than uh, some of the uh, some of their uh, Sumalux and Sumacron lenses, which I have tested. I know for a fact that it is actually it renders better, and it sure as hell is sharper wide open. Not only that, it's an F1.2. It's way the hell more open. Wow, this lens is amazing. How many times have I said that in this video? Someone's going to say, You're repeating yourself too much, you tattooed freak. I can't help it. This lens is so amazing. Whew. When I turn this video off, I'm going to return to licking this lens. And talking dirty to it. Wow. And testing it on my X-H1 and my Fujifilm uh, X-T2, by the way. Focus peaking with this lens, by the way, is perfecto. Absolute, because I, I left that out. Perfection. Focus peaking. Some Voigtlander lenses are just sloppy. Um, sensor manual focus lenses. Sloppy, a peaking. Oh, not this one. This is just precise as a laser. Whew, what a lens. Uh, I'm at a loss for words on this lens. Why? Because it is that damn good. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, you can click the link below. Tell me to jump off a cliff because I have no affiliate links. I'm not a paid shill or schmuck. I get no kickbacks. And uh, any little donation would always be helpful and uh, greatly welcome. Yep. Thank you. Goodbye. Ba-dum-ba-dum-ba-dum-ba-dum.